determine if the columns of the matrix form a linearly independent set. So looking at this given matrix here, let's label these column vectors. Let's say that's a sub 1, a sub 2, and vector a sub 3. Now, we know by definition that an index set of vectors, say defined by the column vectors of a matrix, vectors a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3, are linearly independent if the corresponding homogeneous equation, so matrix A times vector X equals the zero vector, has only the trivial solution. So in other words, these vectors are going to be linearly independent or will form a linearly independent set if no free variables exist. So, let's check. To check this, we need to row reduce the augmented matrix. So the matrix with the column vectors, vectors a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3. We row reduce the augmented matrix with the zero vector to echelon form. To explore or to study what is going on with the corresponding homogeneous equation. So here we go. We have the beautiful matrix. We have 1, 0, negative 4, 2 as the first column vector. We then have 1, 1, minus 3, 1. And last but not least, we have negative 5, negative 5, 0, minus 10. Beautiful. So we want to take the first pivot and use this to eliminate the entries below it. So we'll need two steps here. We'll need to do four times the first row plus the third row to attain that new and reduced third row. And we'll also need to go ahead and do minus two times the first row plus the fourth row to attain the new and reduced fourth row. So our equivalent matrix will be, so our first two rows remain as they are. We have one, one, negative 5, 0, 1, negative 5. And now we have positive 4 minus 4, leaving us with 0. We have positive 4 minus 3, which leave us with 1. And last but not least, we have negative 20 plus 0, which leaves us with minus 20. Beautiful. So next, we have negative 2 plus 2, which leaves us with 0. We'll have a negative 2 plus 1, which leaves us with a minus 1. And last but not least, we have a positive 10 minus 10, which leaves us with 0. Beautiful. So our first column is all set, and we're ready now to move to our second pivot position. And we want to use this pivot to eliminate the entries below it. So again, we'll need two steps here. We'll need to do minus the second row plus the third row to attain that new and reduced third row. And then we'll do the second row plus the fourth row to attain the new and reduced fourth row. So here we go. And let's give ourselves plenty of room. So the equivalent matrix will be, now notice the first two rows remain as they are. This is still 1, 1, negative 5, and then we have 0, 1, negative 5. And our first reduction, we have, well, 0 plus 0 leaves us with 0. We'll have minus 1 plus 1, which leaves us with 0. And last but not least, we'll have a positive 5 minus 20, which leaves us with minus 15. And last but not least, we have 0 plus 0, which again is 0. We have 1 minus 1, which is 0. And minus 5 plus 0 leaves us with minus 5. Lovely. And we're so close now. Our first and second column are all set. And we move to our third and final pivot. And we want to use this to eliminate the entry below it. So to do that, if we scale the third row by a factor of minus one-third and then add this to the fourth row, 
we can obtain the new and reduced fourth row. So in this case, the first three rows remain as they are. We have 1, 1, negative 5, 0, 1, negative 5, 0, 0, minus 15. And now we'll do, we have 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is, of course, 0. And then we'll have a positive 5 minus 5, which leaves us with 0. So looking at this matrix, we can see that we have officially attained echelon form. Now we want to be careful here because we see that we have this row of zeros in the fourth row, but notice that a basic variable exists in each of the columns. So therefore, since a basic variable exists in each column, there are no free variables. So if there are no free variables, this is letting us know that the corresponding homogeneous equation, matrix A times vector X equals a zero vector, has only the trivial solution. Now, since this homogeneous equation has only the trivial solution, this lets us know that therefore the columns of matrix A form a linearly independent set. So the columns of matrix A, those were vectors A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, form a linearly independent set by definition. And this is our beautiful final answer. Woohoo! So even though we have that row of zeros, since there is a basic variable in each of the columns, there are no free variables, meaning that the homogeneous equation has only the trivial solution. And so therefore, by definition, the columns of matrix A form a linearly independent set.